Hello and welcome to English for Construction. Let's continue with the Article 11. Okay, 11.8 Way and Facilities. The contractor shall bear all costs and charges for special or temporary rise of way which he may require, including those for access to the site. The contractor shall also obtain, at his risk and cost, any additional facilities outside the site which he may require for the purposes of the works. The country shall use reasonable efforts to prevent any road or bridge from being damaged by the country's traffic or by the country's personnel. These efforts shall include the proper use of appropriate vehicles and routes, unless otherwise stated in these conditions. A. The country cannot use or possess the whole road pavement regardless of whether it is public or being controlled by the clans or others. B. The country does sure be responsible for any maintenance which may be required for his use of access routes. C. The country does sure provide all necessary signs or directions along access routes and shall obtain any permission which may be required from the relevant authorities for his use of routes, signs and directions. D. The client shall not be responsible for any claims which may arise from the use or otherwise of any access routes. D. The client does not guarantee the suitability or availability of particular access routes. E. Costs due to non-suitability or non-availability for the use required by the contractor of access routes shall be borne by the contractor. 11.9 Transport of Materials and Equipment Unless otherwise stated A. The contractor shall give the client not less than 7 days notice of the date on which any materials equipment will be delivered to the site including packing, loading, transporting, receiving, unloading, storing, and protecting all materials equipment. B. The contractor shall indemnify and hold the client harmless against and from own damages, losses, and expenses, including legal fees and expenses, resulting from the transport of materials equipment. 11.10 Contractor's Equipment The contractor shall be responsible for all contractor's equipment when brought on to the site. The contractor's equipment shall be deemed to be exclusively intended for the execution of works. The contractor shall not remove from the site any major items of contractor's equipment without the consent of the client. However, Consent shall not be required for vehicles transporting materials, equipment, or contractors personnel outside. 11.11 Client's Equipment and Free Issue Materials A. The client shall be responsible for client's equipment. B. The contractor shall be responsible for each item of client's equipment why any of the contractor's personnel is operating it, driving it, directing it, or possession or control it. The appropriate quantities and the amounts due for the use of client's equipment shall be agreed or determined in the contract. The contractor shall pay these amounts to the client. The client shall supply free of charge the free issue materials in accordance with the details stated in the specification. The client shall, at his risk and cost, provide these materials at the time and place specified in the contract. The contractor shall then inspect them and shall promptly give notice to the client of any shortage, defect, or default in these materials, unless otherwise agreed by both parties. The client shall immediately rectify the notified shortage, defect, or default. After this inspection, 
the free issue of materials shall come under the care, custody, and control of the contractor. The contractor's obligations of inspection, care, custody, and control shall not relieve the claim of liability for any shortage, defect, or default not apparent from a visual inspection.